Check out how high these different balls bounce. The basketball, the super bouncy ball, and the golf ball. Now I'm gonna try the golf ball on top of the bouncy ball on top of the basketball. And then I'm gonna explain how it's related to a supernova. Did you see that? Probably not. So here it is again. The golf ball bounced to 28 feet. We dropped it from about three and a half feet, so it went up 800% of its dropped height. In fact, if you consider that by itself, the golf ball bounces about 70% of its dropped height, it went as high as if it had fallen from 40 feet up. That is awesome. So how can we get the golf ball to bounce up with that much energy? Let's simplify it to these two balls. When you drop them individually, each ball starts out with some potential energy from the height of the drop. As the balls hit the ground, some energy goes into heating up the ground and some goes into heating the ball. Because that energy left the ball system, you can't get back up to the same height. But when you combine them, the tennis ball goes higher than its dropped height.